Okay, so Lo end up inboxing me and so this is part two. This is where things get a little bit rocky per se. Lo end up inboxing me when I was in Detroit and me and him was chopping it up or whatever. I had just came back Cause when I was in Detroit, I ended up driving to Indiana to go see my other ex. But we was on good terms. Like we wasn't even into it. It was like mutual. It wasn't nothing like that. Like I ended up going to uh, Fort Wayne, Indiana or whatever. So if you know, and you an OG, you know. Boom. So we, had, we end up going out to lunch or whatever. Cool. And I end up getting back the next morning. No, I, I got back that same day. Wait a minute. But I end up seeing low message probably within that time frame probably that next day or like the day after because i really ain't no facebook junkie for real like all my inboxes like i don't be checking them so if i look in them and i don't see that you're familiar or something like that i'm not gonna be geeking for real so when low had wrote me i'm like damn oh, well, it's been a long time since i heard from him let's see what he got to go let's see what he got going on so we were just chopping it up and he was real kind of aggressive for real because of how we ended things last when we last was talking but it, it wasn't like toxic or anything you know what i'm saying so um if you want to know about what happened with me and love when we first got back together go watch the story time of how we met i think it's called how me and my crush met or something like that so um yeah, so that had happened. So me and Lo chopping it up. And mind you, I'm in the car with Ma at the time. And um, she was like, who is that pumpkin? And I was like, my friend. You know, we talking or whatever. Um, I think I was on FaceTime with Lo. And she was like, you cheesing? Well, I'm like, he's still fine over there. Whatever, whatever, right? And um... She was like, why, what happened with him? Why y'all? Because she knew about me and my ex. So she was like, you know, you need to find somebody that's going to be suitable. And ain't going to put their hands on you. And ain't going to, you know, dog you out. And have you going through what you was currently going through. Even though y'all was separated. And you took a little break and flew to Detroit. You still need to, you know, talk to somebody. Get your mind off of it or whatever. And I'm like, I don't want to talk to him for that reason in particular, but I am going to talk to him, chop it up, see what he got going on. But he was so aggressive, and I'm like, man, what's wrong? Why you acting like that? What's tea? And then, you know, us being adults, we was able to talk it out and see what, you know, get down to the bottom of it or whatever. And that was me taking accountability for the things that I did before um, when we was talking or whatever. And... He was just making sure, like, bro, I ain't finna be, like, we could chop it up or whatever, but I ain't finna be going back and forth and playing these little games with you. Like, you not finna have me on a bench waiting to talk to you, and then you got other people lined up. And it was like, he wasn't, like, he wasn't the only person I was talking to at that time. Like, I was talking to another dude, for real. But me and old boy, damn up and his baby mama's like bro i couldn't do it hell no he was cool though had a lot of money and everything but the baby mama was a no-go i couldn't deal with that like i'm not dealing with that so yeah so me and lo had never had really bad issues like even with his baby mamas up until now me and him never had them type of encounters um and he was already around duty so that's why i was already comfortable with talking to him again for real like it wasn't no other stuff he was like bro i've been wrote you before on facebook you've been ignoring my messages i was like dude i ain't even get no messages that's because i allowed somebody to have access to my inbox and they was getting deleted but i didn't know that so boom ma was like yeah he really is on me sound like he got a good head on his shoulder but like, you know how mama's is they want to be all in your business but still make sure you, you know what I'm saying? Talking to somebody who not no goofy. So, um, me and Lo was shopping it up or whatever that whole time I was in Detroit. 
We even continued chopping it up when I got back to Texas. So I was telling him about my little situation. He was like, dude, you not even gay. I'm like, bro, yes, I am. He was like, no, you not, bro. I'm like, bro, yes, I am. Every time, like, yes, I am. He was like, no, you not. I'm like, yes, I am. But, okay, whatever. And he just swore he knew me, but he didn't. But, um, yeah, so when it came to my or whatever, she was all for him for real. So, um, I remember when her and my dad, well, dad was living with us. And then my end up flying in. Was it my bro? No. Okay, so Lo ended up flying to Houston to see me. And Ma and Dad was already in San Antonio, so we all drove to Houston for that weekend. Like, we drove to Houston for that weekend. And, yeah, we all drove to Houston for that weekend, and we met Lo, because he flew from Atlanta to Houston to see me for that weekend. And so... He was like, um, you know, we was like hitting it off real cool. Like, oh, I'm a rhyme, you know? So, my, you know, we had went to the Waffle House. Like, we had did the whole shit. We was enjoying ourselves. We had met up with some other YouTubers over there, but we was chilling over there, for real. And so, it was one time when we was at the hotel, and Lo took it upon himself to ask my dad and Ma, can he marry me? And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? They was all for it. Yeah. Oh, my God. I would love it. I was like, the only thing I just would say is if you can please, she, I want her to wear something. It was something with a dress. It was like a special request she had for real. And my dad was like, yeah, hell yeah. Like, I like you, blah, blah. Like, yeah, you good for her. Like, blah, blah. Oh, that's my little sister. Sorry, y'all. So, um... She was with the shit. She was like, yeah, dad was with the shit. So it was blowing me the fuck away because I'm like, oh, Mr. Postman. So he trying to stamp stamp. So I was like, okay, boom. So I didn't think nothing of it. You know, shit, motherfucker going to ask him and then things could change. But I didn't think that deep about it either. So we continued our little trip or whatever. Um... End up going to get some hibachi. You know, it was all of us. It just wasn't me and love, but it was all of us. Um, and we end up going back to, um, we end up going back to, uh, Houston. Low end up flying back out, going to Atlanta. I mean, we end up going back to San Antonio. Low end up flying out, going to Atlanta. And we end up going to Houston, I mean, San Antonio. The whole ride, my mama, how she like him. Dad taught how he cool, how he should have came back and drove with us to San Antonio. And I'm just like, oh my god, just be quiet. Um, do talking about how he had fun and how he's really tall and stuff like this. And I'm just like, Lord Jesus. So, um, me and Lo. Even though he asked them to marry me, me and D'Angelo decided at first we were going to have a, we were, we were going to have a, um, a wedding. We was, we, I mean, we were going to do the whole shebang. Our, we had our colors picked out. Um, we were looking at venues here in San Antonio. We actually found a venue where it was like, um, roses, rose petals in the floor. Like it was really nice. Actually, I think it was in Austin. But yeah, we literally looked for venues and everything. Like we was serious. The only reason we decided not to for real get um married and have a big wedding um was because on my side of the family, I really don't talk to them for real. Like we don't our my family is so fucking dysfunctional that is like you know how people be like to be all still family, like that don't mean shit to me. Like if you ain't there in a the time of need and then y'all can still pick up where y'all left off and not bicker about the situation or like my family for real never had a family reunion like ever. Um, so it's like, I didn't feel like I'm like, who the fuck been to come? Like who gonna come? Like at that time, I didn't even talk to a lot of my family. Like it wasn't like me just cutting them off. It was just like, shit, they only talk to me when they need something financially or 
if they want to be messy as fuck and i ain't with that in my life like i don't want to do that so who finna fucking for real come so i'm like bro i'm not finna do that like i don't want to do that like i feel like and then we was like oh we can have a reception and stuff in milwaukee because that's where we both from but then i was like i for real don't want to I, I don't want to get that disappointment so we was like shit let's just go to the courthouse so we end up going to the courthouse low end up paying for it here in texas or whatever and um we end up going whoop de whoop wada wop bam it was between me and him i felt like we didn't have to tell the whole shebang so we end up getting married um and when we got married my was here but we was just it wasn't a secret it was just like something between us two and we didn't need witnesses here so we end up going or whatever got married we was like we ain't gonna tell nobody yet we ain't gonna tell nobody because you know people be weird and we don't want to you know what i'm saying feel we don't, we don't want that type of energy right now so we gonna wait we gonna see how it go for us first you know what i'm saying we just gonna see how we feel how it is newlyweds how this shit go Ma had been divorced. She was still, she she was married for quite some time, but she ended up getting divorced. Uh, and, um, you know, I ain't against divorced people. I'm not. But some people, when they divorced, it's not always good to take advice from them because sometimes they come from a hurt place. So um, we ended up, I'm going to fast forward. We ended up booking the um we ended up planning to go to Orlando for duty. Now we was originally supposed to go to do the Disney cruise um that December, but we ended up switching to just do Orlando for him. So we ended up going to Orlando. Me and Lo paid for the um universal tickets or whatever. My booked her flight to go to Orlando. Me, Lo book um me, him and duty flight, and we end up going to universal <laughs> this is where it gets sticky at mind you let me rewind a little bit sometimes when me and Lo will have heated arguments my mama would be on the phone because i would be like just listen to him just like i would like have her i would be on the phone with her and she'd be like is that him yelling and da -da 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 -da. Mm -hmm. And that's where I fucked up because even if you're going through something with your spouse, you don't call your motherfucking mama. You don't call your people because they're going to pick an opinion. They're going to feel some type of way about them. And then when y'all back on good terms, they're going to have that shit in their head. And then they're going to be like, no, I'm not fucking with him because of how he did my daughter or how he did. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to. I don't want to deal with that. It was times where Lowell called his mama. You know what I'm saying? But with his mama, she never picked a side to where she was like, I'm not messing with her or I'm not dealing with her. To this day. Mama Barbara don't do that because she know that at the well she say at the end of the day y'all marry y'all got to figure that out I don't want to be in the middle of that because she's a good woman and D'Angelo I raised you better than that so I don't want to I don't don't put me in y'all business you know what I'm saying and she the type wrong is wrong right is right she don't care if it's him or me she gonna tell us like no that's not how the fuck that go y'all know you know but we don't call her that's when, that was in the beginning of our marriage now since we took counseling we don't call her to be like my this that and the third if we calling her is to check in check on uh, check in check on see how she doing you know stuff like that um because we in a better headspace now and during that time like it was so many people in our head in our ear when it came to the shit and it was like all the people that was in our ear like they not fucking with us right now like because we back on good terms so motherfuckers wanted us out there bad but i'm gonna get to that so um we end up going to orlando now i'm thinking the uh it's called westgate what is it called you know do i got the paper thing in my it was like a little car it's called westgate something and it's like a little condo motherfucker was nice I thought she paid at least a good G. No, bro. That motherfucker was only $150, I think. So, I'm like, damn, that's it? She was like, yeah, but here's the thing. 
um it's through the timeshare and i'm like what is that she's like oh so in the morning we got to go to this class and i'm like okay but mind you she's telling me this without lower brown i'm like okay so the vibes was already awkward when we got to orlando because she was expressing the fact how she didn't care for low and it made me uncomfortable because it's like in reality you don't realize that this is my husband so um the vibes was already off so she was like this can be a wedding gift for you and him to invest in so i'm like oh yeah that is a good idea she was like yeah and so we end up going to the class the man was like okay this the rundown blah blah she was like yeah this my daughter the one i was telling you about so she had already put dude up on game about me i don't know what all she said but all he know was i was a youtuber for real and so i'm like what the fuck so she was like um this is my daughter the one i was telling you about my other daughter um she was like so this is what we gonna do this is my oldest she was like so this is what we gonna do so she was like punky he got the paperwork and everything he gonna give you the paperwork i'm like okay he brought me that paperwork that bitch said three thousand and i think twenty two hundred three thousand two hundred and some dollars and i'm like okay so i'm like so um i go half you go half she was like okay she was like she went to her phone she acted like she was checking her phone and lo was like y'all good i'm like yeah we just um downstairs at the place and um i said i'm gonna tell you about it as soon as i get back upstairs but mind you she also told me not to tell lo she said don't tell him don't tell him you don't need to tell him everything when you marry don't be don't put all your eggs in one basket you don't need to tell him everything he don't need to know your every move but i didn't comprehend what she was saying until um this all this shit unfolded so um i literally was like well like i said i looked at her as a mama so i'm like she was like well my um my half because i had my half i mean I, i'm in orlando for my son's birthday you think i'm gonna be empty-handed no i got my half and at that time i think did me and lo take about i think we took about five g's because at first we was gonna take 10 and i was like no nah. because the more money we got the more we gonna spurge so i felt five was good so um we took five in cash and then i think the rest was on our card or maybe we took some in, or abandoned cat or 1500 in cash and then the rest was on our card. you know i don't i don't, I don't remember but I, but I remember one of the one of the um but i end up i do remember we did take one of low whole checks i remember him working and then we took one of his whole checks so um we ended up being in orlando or whatever and we ended we at the little timeshare meeting or whatever and the man's bring me the paperwork three thousand twenty two three thousand two hundred twenty dollars or something like that and i'm like okay so what's what's your half she's like oh well if i do it i gotta call his bank and then they gotta transfer and then it might take a long time for them to transfer and then mind you this was a weekday i'm like okay so she was like well let's she was like okay you got your half i'm like yeah i'm like you know what it's taking too long i'll just I, and i'm like just give me just pay me it back if you got the money she was like yes yeah, in my 401k so on and so forth it take you know she was like and then i gotta transfer it from and i'm like no don't worry about it you got the money i trusted her y'all i trusted her i said if you got the money you know just go ahead and just send it back to me when we get back or whatever cool i end up calling my bank to get a lift because with your daily spending limit it's only a certain amount so i'm like i need an increase on my spending limit for today on my car and then i can go ahead and give y'all um the rest i mean and then i can you know you, you can lower it back down because i ain't gonna need no more money i already know how we go so she was like not punkin when you do this you don't tell him anything do you hear me you don't tell him nothing he don't need to know anything about your funding when if it's not a joint account he don't need to know and at this time me and lo only had a joint bill account um and so i had my own personal account so the money i was spending was on my own personal account but i felt like even then because that's money coming into our household i still felt the need to like 
if, if it came about, you still tell your spouse, like, yeah, I got the money. It might not be in our joint account, but I can transfer it over if we are in need of it. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't think nothing of it. I'm like, shit, yeah, this condo, yeah, we gonna be owning it. You know, we can Airbnb it out, so on and so forth, whatever. This is what I'm thinking in my head. So the man was like, yeah, you, it, the total of it is 32,000, some, 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 you just gotta pay it off. He was like, um, and you get a certain amount to pay it off. Hold on, y'all.